Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos for you every Tuesday. Today's video is gonna be going over all of Simplified's products. So accessories, plus her weekly and daily planner, but we're not gonna walk through this page by page because I already have another video doing that and I will link it in the description. But basically going through all her products and just telling you my opinion as I've used each one, how I feel about each one, because Simplified's launch is coming up. Simplified's launch is April 8th this year, 2020, where they will be launching their new academic planners that run 2020 to 2021. Those same new covers will run in their calendar year planners for 2021 also. Tomorrow, April 1st, is actually Simplified's cover reveal, where we get to see the new covers for the 2021 year. I am so excited to see those tomorrow. I've always been a huge fan of Simplified's covers. So let's jump into the products. I have more products sitting here next to me. They just wouldn't all fit up here. We're going to look at the home base binder also, the recipe binder, the journal, her little mini notebooks. So I have a lot more than I'm showing here. We're just going to start by going through these up here and then I'll pick up my next pile. So number one, her notepads. Her notepads are beautiful. The paper is not nearly as thick as her planners, but it is nice, substantial paper. It doesn't feel like super thin. I will write a little something on here and show you the back. You can see how that looks coming through the paper. I love how the gold foiling is on there. I think it's a beautiful motivational notepad. Have a great day. She has several designs. I also have her today's to-do list. So when I just really want to focus, I feel like my mind is going everywhere and I put in order of my tasks, one through six or one through five. Doesn't even have to fill in through eight. So I really like this one. It also has the gold foiling. They have a very nice thick very thick back cardboard, which makes it easy to carry around and write on. So I am a big fan of her notepads. I think they're beautiful and functional. I've also gotten her larger notepads. This paper is definitely thicker than this paper. Your bigger notepad has thicker paper. This actually feels almost like as thick as her planner paper. And you could turn it horizontally or vertically. I do not have the lined one here to show you. She has another similar one. I like to keep this on my desk to just jot any notes down about anything. When I'm on a phone call or I think of something, it's bright, it's beautiful. And like I said, this is very thick paper and it's got the really thick cardboard chipboard on there also. The washi tape. I love the simplified washi tape. It just comes in, you know, navy, aqua, the happy stripe colors and the yellow, the pink, the hot pink, and then you have a foiled polka dot, gold polka dot, and a foiled gold stripe. I think it's just a good set of basic washi tape. I use it all the time on all different kinds of things at home, not necessarily to decorate a planner because I don't really do that with washi tape, but to tape things to the wall or to tape off my filming board so I can see my filming space. I use it all the time for all different things around our house. I like that it is just bright, solid, beautiful colors. And I also like those two. So I think it's a great set of washi tape. It works great. And I also think it makes a great gift because of the packaging just looks so nice. The gold ruler. First of all, I got this not for function, but I got it just if I wanted to use it in pictures on Instagram. I'm not very good at actually using props and pictures, but I just thought why not throw it in there and give it a try for pictures, but I have not actually ever used it. If you can see, there are some like dings on this one. So some um, imperfections, which doesn't bother me if I'm using it as a ruler. It's a good ruler to use, like if you want to draw a straight line, but it's rather long. It's so it's a little bit longer than a normal ruler because it extends over the ends and it's pretty heavy. It is heavy duty, you guys. If you want a decorative ruler on your desk that can actually function, I think this one is great. It functions well and it can look nice on your desk. Now she has a happy stripe pen and she has a gold polka dot pen. This happy stripe pen is beautiful. I changed out the ink in it, the ink it came with. So you can change out your ink cartridges. The ink cartridge that I put in it, I can't remember which one I put in. I think I put in a Pentel Energel or it might've been a Pilot Precise V5. I can't remember, but my ink cartridge, as you can see here, it does not stick out enough right there. So, it makes writing feel a little bit weird. So I would have to find the right ink cartridge 
that would poke out the right amount. Basically, mine is too short here. Usually the pens I pick up to write with all the time are just the ones that hook on my planner coil, which you've seen if you follow me on Instagram. Basically, I won't use a pen in my planner unless it easily slides on and off my planner coil. And this one doesn't. It's going to mess up your planner coil and it's going to mess up the pen, but it is a beautiful pen. I'm glad I got it. It feels so good in hand. It feels really good in hand. It's a heavy weight, but not too heavy. Honestly, it's a really nice pen and feels really good in hand. It comes in a beautiful box. I do not have any more. I didn't keep it. To gift this is, this is a perfect gift. It comes in a beautiful presentation box that you could also keep with a happy stripe on it. And I really love this pen. And since you can replace the ink with whatever you like, I highly recommend this pen. It's a win. Let's just talk about the planners for a minute. Now, once again, I told you I'm not gonna go through these planners, her daily and her weekly planner at all. This is not a review walking you through the planner. I'm gonna link that video down below in the description. I have a review where we walk through the daily and the weekly. You can see the layouts and how they differ and their sizes. We go through all that in the video. This is just to tell you how I feel about each one. I have used and played in each one of these planners a lot. I used her daily planner for four years in a row. I have played around in the weekly planner for a lot of different uses. Never stayed in it consistently for a long time because it's just not quite big enough for me, but I actually really love her weekly planner and wish I could stay in it consistently. So here are all the things I love about it. I love the colors. I love the fonts that they've used. I love the monthly calendar having no coil in the middle. And like I mentioned, all the fonts. I love that. I love the look of it. I love how seamlessly it is to flip between months with her stair step tabs. So it makes it just so easy. There was a time when I was only using the monthly in this, just as a monthly on the dresser in my room every night, just so I could have a scope of the month, like before I went to bed and any big events that were coming up the next day. And yes, I could look on my iCal for that, but I just really like to see a scope of the whole month. So I love the monthly in here. The weekly is a tad bit too small for me, especially since you have Sunday prep tasks, which take up a huge amount of Sunday and Sunday is already a small space. And Saturday is not that much room either. I like this weekly layout. M many people utilize it putting their appointments on the left and then their to-dos on the right. I utilize it putting my top three on the left and then the rest of my to-dos and my top three would include appointments in there. Since appointments take so much of my time, then I might not get you know, more than three done. So my appointments count as one of my top three. This layout works really well for me. It's just not quite big enough. I have the same layout for my daily planner in my golden coil. Yes, it's a weekly, but I'm using it as my daily list planner, my golden coil. It's just, I have a lot more room. And so that's why it works for me. But I do like that layout. I just wish it was a tad bigger and I wish Sunday prep was not on there. Then you have a good amount of notes pages at the back of your weekly planner, and I like that, so you can go there for extra lists. I always love the simplified covers. I like that it comes with the ribbon bookmark. Her covers are just always beautiful. I love the simplified covers. They come up with the best designs. This small little book feels so good in hand and is just really portable to carry around. So I'm a big fan of her weekly planner. Like I mentioned, it's just not big enough for me in my life right now, but in another season of my life when I am less busy, possibly, you know, when my kids leave the house, which that's really hard to imagine now, but it's coming sooner than later for sure. This would be a planner that I would always consider. Simplify daily planner. If you follow me on Instagram, if you followed me for any amount of time here on YouTube, you know, I love the simplified daily planner. I have been in this planner for four years. This is my first year to really come out of this planner. I'm using the Golden Coil weekly layout for my daily, but let me tell you something. Every once in a while, especially on the weekends, I come into here and I will use, not this one, because this one's a blank one I'm showing you, but I will use my simplified planner to just list out for the day because it just makes a great daily list. So if I have a super busy day, I still pick this up right now. This will always be something that I probably fall back to when I need just a full page for a daily list. Right now I am not in a full page on a day daily planner. I'm using a weekly for my daily planner. But if I was on a full page for a day daily planner, I would definitely 
definitely be in this one. I've loved Simplified Daily for so many years. If you want to know more about the paper and pen tests and a walkthrough, then definitely check out that video, which I've linked down below about the daily planner the home base binder. I bought this with referral points just so I could do a review on it for you guys. It's not something that I envisioned myself using, although I thought I might like the notebook. It's really pretty and I actually haven't utilized it yet, but I know I will in the future because I do utilize notebooks sometimes. This one is so beautiful. So it has a linen navy blue cover. It has the gold foiling there. It has gold foiling on the side and on the back. It has the corner protection. I love the colorful polka dots inside. You have a huge, really strong pocket and your home base binder comes with all these pages in it. And I'm not going to walk you through this whole binder because I actually have a whole video on it and I will link that video down below, but I will tell you the dividers are really sturdy. So even if you didn't want to use the in-between pages or you used up the in-between pages and then you just wanted to use the dividers and possibly even relabel them, you definitely could. They're so sturdy. Everything that Simplify does looks really classy and I like that. So you have dividers and you have in between pages, a family section, contacts, projects, meal plan, finances, and heart. And I take you through all these pages in my video that is linked down below. The bulk of your pages in here are your meal plan pages. And I tell you this in the video, but just so you know, if you don't go watch that, this paper is slick. It's thicker, but it has a slick feel to it. I personally don't love that because gel pens smear a lot on slick surfaces and I just don't like the feel of it. So that is something to note and I go over more of that in the video. But it is just a three ring binder. It functions really well. You could definitely utilize it in any way you want to, but it comes with these inside pages. You are paying for those pages even if you're not gonna use them. I mean, I think it's a good purchase if you just want the beautiful notebook or if you're gonna use parts of the inside pages. So that's my thoughts on the home base binder. Okay, my thoughts on the recipe binder. I love it. It's beautiful. I love that it's not linen. It's a wipeable surface. So of course you can wipe it off in the kitchen. It's bigger than the home base binder. Here's what it looks like. I love the, you know, light, light blue color of it. It's just so classy. I think this would make a great gift. Inside you have gold polka dots. It's bigger, like I said, so the rings are bigger, but they function the same way and it's the same shape of rings that the other binder, the home base binder has. This binder does not come with any inside pages. It just comes with dividers. And here's the thing, you guys, I've had this for a long time, like at least a year, and I've not organized my recipes in it. I want to, I just have my recipes in actually two white plain binders from the store. They've been in there for years. They're kind of torn up and I actually need to go through and clean out all my recipes. And I, when I do that, I'd like to put my favorites in here. So this would be the one I grab for like, you know, our favorites and I would know they're all in here and kind of the extra recipes can stay in those same categories in my other recipe notebook that I've had for years. At some point I will get around to doing that because I am going to utilize this notebook. I just haven't. It has a beautiful nameplate page and then you have dividers, which of course you can add to or change if they don't fit your needs, but drinks, appetizers, salads, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. I love the colors that are in here, the happy stripe colors. These dividers are just so well made. They are have a coating on them that things will wipe off if you spill on them. They're very thick, vibrant, beautiful with the printing of the words in that gold foiling. So I just think it's a classy notebook. If you want a beautiful recipe binder for yourself or a really nice gift for someone else, I was thinking if someone in your family is getting married, like a sister or someone you're close to, making them a recipe binder, putting like your family favorite recipe in here and then gifting them this binder would be such a special gift because you're putting in your time and your service to do that along with the gift. I'm a big fan of this product. I think it's beautiful. This is the Simplified Journal. On the front, it says, I will hold myself to a standard of grace, not perfection. The Simplified Journal by Emily Lay. I like the cover. It's the same wipeable type of surface and the same color as the recipe binder. It's a great size for a journal. It feels good in hand. You have a nice substantial gold ribbon. They also make this in a Kelly green color and a light pink color. I've actually started to use some of the beginning pages in this journal, so I'm not going to show you those. I can show you the nameplate page here this journal belongs to, and she has the beautiful polka dots on these end pages. I love that. 
And let's see, the back, the back end pages have those same beautiful polka dots. I think this makes a great gift. In fact, I have given it out as a gift before. The main layout of this, once you have the nameplate page, is just all your journaling pages. It is made to journal a two-page spread per day, but of course you don't have to use it that way. I don't necessarily. One side is a brain dump, and then one side is thoughts, date, Today I feel this went well today and this was challenging today. I don't always use it in that way. Sometimes I'm using this one I grabbed up. I'm just taking notes or thoughts throughout the day. And if I want to journal and I just want to write one page, I just use one page and the next day use this page. The paper is okay. It doesn't feel as thick as her planner paper at all. Of course, that would make this journal really thick. But to me, the paper is fine for a journal. As you can see, I've written all on the back side of that page and nothing is coming through there. I I am happy with this journal. I like the rounded corners. I love the beautiful colors and the feel of this journal. And like I said, I think it makes a great gift, especially if you wanna put a pen pack in with it. Speaking of the pen pack, let's pull that up and pull the notebooks up too. So the pen pack makes a beautiful gift. I have given this journal as a gift with a pen pack with it. These are the Pilot Precise V5 pens. Now these, this package hasn't even been opened. These pens are the same pens that you can go buy at Target or on Amazon, but they don't come in these exact colors unless it's the Emily Lay Simplified Pack. The pack that you would buy, the yellow is not in there and it's replaced with a red and the navy blue is not in there and it's replaced with a purple. So if you look on Amazon, these are the two colors, navy blue and yellow that are replaced by purple and red. So if you want her exact colors and you want her Emily Lay name on the pen with the pineapple, then you have to buy the pack from her. I believe Target also sells the packs now. I have not been there recently to look, but it's just your Pilot Precise V5 pen, which I like these pens. It's not my favorite pen. I don't like the way the clip slides on and off my planner coil. I talked about that earlier once again. I'm all about the clip, but I do use them for journaling and other things, just they're sitting at my desk. So if I want some colored pens, I have colored pens, but I like having all the colors. I like having navy blue. I love navy blue, but yellow, it honestly does not show up when you are writing. I just ran through and used all the colors for you so you could see. As you can tell, the yellow really doesn't show up very well when I have like written notes somewhere with it. It's kind of hard for me to read. I really don't use the yellow for writing. It would be fine for say underlining or circling something, not for really writing and wanting to read something. It's fun to have a yellow pen. It's fun to have this pack of pretty colors. But like I said, the yellow is not that functional for writing. I remember my mom using these pens in college to take notes. She went back to school after we were all much older to finish college. And I remember her taking notes with these pens. I think these were the only type of pen she used. She loved them. So if you're in college taking notes, I think it would be so fun to have a pack of pens of all different colors. So you can kind of circle, underline, you know, use a different color for each different section of something. I know that helps. This would be a fun pack to have. If you also want it, you could buy this one if you want the yellow and the navy and and if you wanted to have the red and the purple also, then you could buy like the pack on Amazon. Those are the colors. You get black, blue, the normal blue, the aqua blue, the pink, the navy blue, the green, and then the yellow. So that is her Pilot Precise partnership collaboration where they made this pack of pens. Now let's talk about the last product. And I really hope I didn't leave out any products that I have. Emily Lay has quite a few products. I may have left them out. I did not bring my hats in here. I actually do have two of her hats, but I got the light blue hat with the pineapple on it. And I got the navy blue hat that says, hi friends. I really like the fit of both of those hats. They're nice material. They fit well. So if you want her ball cap, I say go for it. It's a great hat. And if you wear ball caps, some Sometimes I think it's a good one. Every year, Simplified makes these little mini notebooks in all the cover designs for that year. And I just pulled out a stack, so I have some cover designs from last year too. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's the only cover design from last year, so we'll just pull that one out. These are all her covers this year, so it's kind of 
of a fun way to collect her beautiful covers. You obviously only need one planner, most people, two at the most, if you want a daily and a weekly like me. This is a way to be able to get all of her covers. They also make great gifts because they're beautiful. On the back, she has the little simplified logo on the back of each one. They just look very classy. This one was not this year's, the thin happy stripes either. Uh, the pink pineapple and the blue pen stripes. So they are really beautiful, classy looking. They come in really nice packaging. So they make beautiful gifts. You can put it with one pin or a pack of pins. It's a very thick card stock cover. And then the pages in here are actually very substantial for a little notebook. It's not the same paper that's in the planner, but it is very substantial. And at the bottom of each page, you just have one little tiny gray pineapple that's on both sides and nothing in the header. So it's free for you to write a date in there or anything in the header you want. It makes a cute little journal or I carry one of these in my purse all the time. I take notes at church in this little notebook and then when it fills up, I just replace it with a new one. They are not sewn notebooks, they are stapled, but all mine have stayed together really well and they lay flat perfectly when you just, you know, Give them a little massage there and lay them flat. They're not too thick. So I'm a huge fan of these little notebooks. They do not fit in the pocket of the weekly planner. They do fit in the pocket of the daily planner and they were made to fit in this pocket. But here's the thing. I don't love to keep a notebook in the pocket of my daily planner. The daily planner is already pretty thick. It fits well and the cover shuts. It just makes it thicker. But here's the main reason. Because when I'm writing, I can feel that bump of where the notebook ends on, you know, on the cover. And so if I'm anywhere near the beginning pages, I can feel that bump of that notebook and it causes an arch here. So I personally just don't love to keep it there, but you could definitely keep it there. And once you get past the beginning pages, it would be okay. There are not many note pages in the daily planner. There are four note pages in the daily planner. That is it. If you need note pages and you just, you only carry around one planner, then then putting this notebook in here could be a great solution for you. That wraps up all my simplified products, my thoughts and opinions on all of them. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. If you've used any of these simplified products, including the planners, but any of them, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if it's something you would rebuy again or not. So please leave those down in the comments. I wanna make sure to mention because Simplified is about to launch that I do have a $10 off if it is your first Simplified purchase. So only if it is your first Simplified purchase, you can go through that link down there in my description if you sign up for an account so that they don't have your email already on an account. If you have already filled, filled out your email on an account, but you haven't even purchased, it's still not gonna work because you already have an account. You have to be a new account with Simplified. If you give them your email and you're a new account with Simplified through my link, then they will email you very quickly a $10 off code. So you'll wanna do that before launch day if you're a new customer. Go and get your $10 off code before launch day. You don't wanna be sitting there waiting on launch morning for them to email you your code back. I have an affiliate link with Simplified that just means I get credit for your sale so it can show Simplified how many customers I bring to them. It also gives me a small percentage of your sale and that is how I keep my channel going. If you are gonna make a purchase anytime from Simplified, it can be on launch day, it can be anytime throughout the year, I would be so grateful if you used my affiliate link. It does not change your purchase at all. It just takes you to their site through my affiliate link and the website looks exactly the same and you sign in with your own account. You wouldn't even know that you're using my affiliate link. Link. You can bookmark my affiliate link so that it's ready to go on launch day morning and you won't have to come to my video to click through it. I truly appreciate you supporting my channel in that way so I can keep getting product and making video and reviewing things for you. Thank you so much. Happy planning this week and happy simplified reveal and launch coming up. Have a great day guys and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.